Okay, I just wanted to talk about this number line tool really quickly because it's a great tool, but it's a little fidgety. Um, if you control click on the lesson plan, it'll take you to a web page where you can find a tool. The problem is it'll open a web browser that's probably Chrome or Firefox, and it doesn't work in Chrome or Firefox. Well, some of it does, but this bar here that lets you scroll back and forth across the number lines to the right and left doesn't work. So what I suggest to you is either copy the address from this bar or copy the address from the lesson itself. And uh, you're going to open it in Microsoft Edge, the Edge browser, or Internet Explorer. Uh, you can just click on the little magnifying glass here and search for Edge. And uh, oddly enough, it'll work in these browsers. So if you just paste the address here, you'll have the number line that scrolls or scrubs from left to right. Okay, so the intention of this lesson while we're here is just to use one of these little bars, right? And they can be stretched to any number size. I suggested 11. Uh, it's a prime number. It's a little bit bigger than kids are used, used to counting by. Um, and what we're going to do is use that as a factor, right? And so once you have one out there, you can highlight it, right? When you select it, you'll see these gray bars here. You can just use this tool here to create a copy and drag it to the next. So here are two factors of 11. We see that uh, you can use these little, this little tool right here is like a custom tick mark is what it's called. Uh, that 11 is a factor of 11. You can see that uh, 11 is a factor of 22 and, and so on. Um, and you can, you know, this would be a great introduction to multiples as well. All right, so here's the number line. There's lots of things it can do. It's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you find it useful.